Hello everyone. AI is changing everything and Microsoft Copilot just changed Excel forever. In this tutorial, I will show you everything you need to know about Copilot in Excel. You will learn how to unlock Copilot's full power and save hours of work. You will learn how to do data cleaning, conditional formatting, feature engineering, and also create data visualizations and dashboards all without writing a single formula. It's like having a full team of data analysts working inside of your spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and dive in. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed. I'm a professor and best-selling online instructor. I taught over half a million students worldwide. And on this channel, I help you learn AI, AI agents, co-pilot, and large language models in a simple, easy, and fun way. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so let's go ahead and open Microsoft Excel. And here we have two tabs. So we have this data set. It's around the employee data sets. It covers years of experience. We have department, job level, and so on. We also have another tab here that cover Amazon reviews. And these are reviews for the Amazon Echo product. And the idea here is I wanna show you the capabilities of Microsoft Copilot when dealing with just regular data and also with dealing here with text data as well. So I'm going to go to employee data and you should be able to see Copilot here icon. You just go ahead and click on it and then you need to enable the auto save to be able to run Copilot in Excel. So I'm going to say turn on auto save. I'm going to save it here to my SharePoint and you should be able to see Microsoft Copilot pane here up and running and this is basically it. So what I'm going to do first is tip number one is I want to show you how to generate formulas using Microsoft Copilot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say could you please go ahead and I want you to calculate the average value of the age column. You go ahead and click run and what Copilot is going to do is going to basically try to read through the entire data set here that we have and it's going to generate a formula for you. So you should be able to see here it's highlighted and a formula has been generated here for you and it was able to calculate the average age which is 35 here in that data. So if you're happy with it, you can just say insert row and you should be able to see the average age here has been added. Okay. All right. The second tip is, well, you can use Microsoft Copilot to perform data visualization. Let me show you. Let's assume that I would like to plot the years of experience versus salary information. So I'm going to go ahead and click run. So what Copilot is going to do is going to detect basically these two columns. Even though if you have slight changes in these names, Copilot is smart enough to be able to detect these columns. So it's going to generate a plot for us and we will be able to insert that plot here in a new tab if you would like. So here we go. So now we should be able to see a nice scatter chart between the years of experience versus salary information. And if you are happy with it, you can just say add to sheet and you should be able to see here the data here visual has been inserted inside your Excel. Let me show you another example. Let's assume that I would like to plot a count plot for the location column. So you should be able to see here we have a location if you scroll to the right. And you should be able to see here we have Seattle, New York, and so on. And now I would like to count how many samples are included in every city. So you should be able to see a count plot. Again, if you're happy with it, you can go ahead and insert it in a new sheet. All right, so the next tip that I would like to cover is how to use or run Python code inside of Excel. And with that, you should be able to see there is an advanced analysis here button that you can click on. So if you go ahead and click on it, it's going to tell you, well, you want to start that advanced analysis tool. I'm going to say, sure, please go ahead and start it. And now you should be able to run Python code inside of Excel, which is super powerful. So now basically a Python code that is being generated. If you click on show analysis, you should be able to see the code here behind the scenes. So here we go. So this is the Python code. So we read the data. And if you are familiar with pandas, this is simply what you see here behind the scenes. And what Copilot is going to do right now, it's going to do general analysis for you. It's going to create different age distribution here, for example. You should be able to see as well salary information, performance evaluation, and so on. And if you don't go ahead and keep it running, you should be able to see all these different data visualizations being created automatically for you, which is super powerful. Okay. What you could do as well is you can go ahead and ask it, could you please create a dashboard for me? 
including five data visualizations. So here, let's see what kind of five data visualizations Copilot is gonna generate for us. So here we go. So these are the five visuals. So it was able to plot here the age distribution, salary distribution, and was able as well to show me here a scatter chart between the years of experience versus salary information as well. If you are enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you can hit the like button. It helps us a lot and it's totally free. And if you would like to go deeper, please go ahead and join our AI community. You can find a link in the description below. It's a great place to connect, ask questions and learn from others. As a bonus, when you sign up, I will send you all the slides, all the prompts that we used in today's demo. All right, so the next feature that I would like to show you is how you can sort data using Microsoft Copilot. So what I could do is I can simply just say, I want you to sort the data in an ascending order by age. And now I'm gonna head back to employee data and I'm gonna go ahead and click run. And please note that I had to stop the advanced data analysis feature that I showed you earlier. So let's go ahead and run it. So now Copilot's going to analyze our data and is going to sort it in an ascending order. So here we go. If you're happy with it, you can just click apply and you should be able to see the data here has been sorted in an ascending order based on the age. And if you are not happy with it, if you wanna go back, you can just click undo and that is gonna undo all the changes that we have done to the data. All right, so the next feature that I would like to show you is how to do data filtering using Copilot in Excel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, could you please filter out the data, let me show you, to only include people or employees with the age between 28 and 30. Let's go ahead and run it. So now Copilot, even if you change the uh, wording slightly, Copilot is smart enough to detect it. So it's going to filter out the data. It's gonna read first, detect our age column. And um, if you're happy with it, you can just click apply. So I'm gonna say apply and let's go ahead and see. So here we go. So now it's able to filter out the data to only include people between age of 28 up until 30. All right, so the next feature that I would like to show you is how to do conditional formatting using Copilot. So what I could do here is I can say, could you please color code the age column based on its value? I wanna set the smallest value to black and the largest value to white. Let's go ahead and run it. And now I'm gonna color code basically each of these cells to have any value between the white and black and any color gray in between. So here we go. So now you should be able to see that color scale. If you're happy with it, you can just click apply. And if you navigate to the age column, you should be able to see here has been highlighted. And that's simply how you do conditional formatting in Microsoft Copilot. Okay, let's assume that I would like to delete columns. So now I'm gonna say, could you please delete the employee ID column? And now Copilot is gonna detect that I would like to drop that column. Even if you mention employee without the underscore, Copilot is gonna be able to detect it. And it's gonna tell me, well, I would like to delete this specific column. I'm gonna say, sure, apply. And you should be able to see here that column is gone. All right, so the next amazing powerful feature available in Copilot in Excel is the ability to build machine learning models directly in here without even knowing a lot about machine learning. Let me show you. So here we have data about employees, right? So we have age column, for example, we have years of experience and so on. And let's assume that I would like to build a machine learning model to predict the salary information, okay? So this is a classic regression type problem. Let me show you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, could you please build a machine learning model to predict the salary information? And for that, I would like to enable the advanced analysis tool here. So if you go ahead and click on it, that is gonna tell me, well, do you wanna start it? And what I'm gonna do here is I wanna show you the ability to start with Think Deeper. And now what you're using behind the scenes is an advanced large language model that has advanced reasoning ability. So if you go ahead and say, start with the advanced reasoning, of course, it's gonna do that general data analysis here for us. It's gonna try to understand the data. It's gonna read the data here using pandas data frame. So that's why you see here. All right, so now Microsoft Copilot was able to perform kind of a general analysis for us. And now I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna ask it, could you please build, build a machine learning model to predict the salary information? So let's go ahead and see if it's able to understand what I mean here. So it's gonna understand our data first. It's going to generate Python code for us and was able to build a machine learning model for us. All right, so what you see here is that Microsoft Copilot was able to create its own tasks, basically. 
was able to say, okay, I'm gonna do data preparation first. I'm gonna do feature engineering. I'm gonna split our data to training and testing. And then I'm going to perform model selection. It's gonna start with a simple linear regression model. It's gonna train our model and then it's going to evaluate it and it's going to perform model interpretation as well. What you find is that here, if you are familiar with Python, what happened here behind the scenes is that Microsoft Copilot was able to train a linear regression model, which is kind of a simple model, and the results weren't that great. So it was actually not very happy with the results. And what's amazing is that it was able to kind of correct it, its mistake and just go back and use a bit of an advanced model. And that's what it did here. It was able to train a random forest regressor model instead. And now the results are much better. We have been able to achieve an R squared or coefficient of determination of around 0.91, almost like 91%, which is great. And you will find the MAE or mean absolute error and the RMSE as well here at quite low value as well. All right, next, I would like to show you the capabilities of Microsoft Copilot in Excel to be able to handle text data. Let me show you. Let's assume that I would like to use here our reviews. So if you scroll to the right, you should be able to see verified reviews here. And what I want is I want to ask Microsoft Copilot to take all these reviews and plot a word cloud for us. Let me show you. So now I'm going to say generate a word cloud using Python for the verified reviews column. So it's going to work on it. Maybe it's going to think, well, I would like to generate Python code. Maybe let's see. So it's going to start the advanced analysis tool. So here we go. So it's able to say, well, I would like to use that tool here to be able to do that. I'm going to say, sure, please go ahead and give it a try. So I'm going to give it a try here and it's going to write a Python code, import all the libraries, concatenate, kind of combine all this data in one string and it's going to be able to generate an amazing word cloud here that looks like that that means the word love has been repeated quite a bit and that's good news of course here for amazon you should be able to see great echo work and so on okay what i could do as well is i can go ahead and perform sentiment analysis so i can go ahead and ask it could you please analyze the sentiment for this review so what Copilot is going to do is going to detect the sentiment, are customers happy or not, based on every single column that we got in the data. And you should be able to see here the total number of positive reviews, it's around 2,500, neutral 3,600, and negative 218. And what you could do as well is you can go ahead and visualize the sentiment distribution using a bar chart as well. So now it's going to generate a bar chart that can show you all the positive versus neutral versus negative reviews. All right, so the final pro tip that I would like to share is the ability to chat with an agent. So if you have an artificial intelligence agent that you built already, you should be able to click on the add sign here and you should be able to say get agent. And that is going to connect you to one of your artificial intelligence agents. For example, you can build an AI agent that is specialized for building financial models, for example. This feature is not yet activated in Excel, but it is available in Microsoft Word. Once it is released, I'm going to share a video. The second pro tip that I would like to share here is the ability to click on view prompts. And if you click on it, you should be able to see a library of prompts here. So if you'd like to, for example, if you have a formula, you don't know what that formula does. You can say, what does this formula in cell, for example, X or D4 here do? can go ahead and look for multiple prompts in different areas. So let's assume, for example, I would like to go to the job type. I'm going to select energy, for example. I'm going to go ahead and select, let's say, maybe create or understand, analyze and so on. And here, let's assume that I would like to pick maybe technical supports summary. So here you should be able to see a prompt that has been created or generated for you. And what you could do as well is that you can create your own prompt library as well. So you don't need to go and reinvent the wheel every time. That's it. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments section, what's your favorite co-pilot in Excel feature? If you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I've got more practical AI tutorials and deep dives coming your way. And don't forget to join our free AI community where you can grab the slides and also connect with others, building the future of AI. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.